What's up friends, I got a brand new video for you today and let's cut right to the chase. You all clicked on this video because you want to see night mode on the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm a cinematographer, photographer. I'm not really a tech reviewer even though I love the tech. I love tech in these phones. But I just went out and shot stuff. It's not my life's greatest work ever. But it definitely shows off what the sensor is capable of in like dark, low, low light. The sharpness, the detail, the improvements on this camera, I compared it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So we'll see some shots from that. But this video doesn't need to be long. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. So this year on the iPhone 13 Pro, all the cameras got updated. The main camera, the wide camera is now f1.5. It's got a slightly bigger sensor. It also has sensor shift, which the iPhone 12 Pro Max also had. But this sensor is gonna light in a little bit more light. It's gonna be, you know, it's just gonna do a little better job. And the ultra wide lens got a big update this year. It is f1.8 compared to f2.4 last year. And it also has autofocus now. It was a fixed focus before. And it also can do macro. Now this video is obviously night mode. I tried some night mode macro photography and it just doesn't work. It, it just can't focus. It doesn't know when it's in macro mode because it's too dark. So if you were thinking of doing macro mode in low light, you can't really do it yet. I heard there's gonna be a switch where you can click on macro mode because right now it just automatically does it for you. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need a lot of light for that. And then the next big update is the telephoto lens. It is now three times zoom. So it's around a 77 millimeter lens. And what I found is it works really good in low light compared to the old telephoto lens. And when comparing it to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it wasn't always using the telephoto lens. It would switch to the main lens and then just crop in because it was better in low light. And that's gonna cause a lot of that mashed potato, a lot of, you know, just mush. It's not gonna be very sharp. And I did some tests side by side with that telephoto lens and the telephoto lens on the new camera, the new phone, you're gonna see a lot less mush that the computational photography is doing. It's just gonna look sharper. There's gonna be a lot more detail in the telephoto lens. And that's a huge update over the 12 Pro Max. All right, so let's jump on the computer and take a look at some samples from the 13 Pro versus the 12 Pro Max. All right, so quickly jumping the Lightroom, we're comparing the ultra wide lens on the iPhone 13 Pro versus the 12 Pro Max. We're seeing ISO 3200 versus ISO 1600. I'm assuming that ISO difference is because we've got the new f1.8 lens letting in more light. If we zoom in here, a lot sharper. Look, please don't block the driveway. It's way sharper than the 12 Pro Max. We're splitting hairs here though. Most people aren't gonna notice this stuff. We're get, we got noise up here, but overall they're fairly identical as far as how they look. Maybe a little bit more sharpness here in the ground. The big difference here between these two cameras is that the iPhone 13 Pro has autofocus, so you can select a focus point versus the fixed focus on the 12 Pro Max. And you can see up here just on the sign how mashed potato-y this looks compared to this. And you're gonna notice this across all the cameras. Now this photo is nothing special. It's just a shot I took. It was super dark in this corner. We've got ISO 500 on the 12 Pro Max, ISO 320 on the iPhone 13 Pro, which is interesting because, you know, and it's a reading that we used the wide lens on the 12 Pro Max. And that happens a lot because when it's too dark, the telephoto lens just doesn't work on the 12 Pro Max. And you're going to see a huge reason why. We zoom in here. Look at how sharp this is. You know, we got a bit of chromatic aberration in here. But look much more details on the 13 Pro up here in the east trough in the window. This just looks like mashed potatoes. And that's because it's using that main camera and just cropping in on it. And I really noticed it on this shot. I just fired off a shot here with the telephoto lenses. You can see that the 13 Pro is just insanely sharp. Lots of detail. You can see bricks. This just looks like mashed potatoes. And what's really interesting is the color difference between them too. So let's take a look at the main camera here. This is just the regular wide camera. This is where we start to split hairs because I think that both of these cameras are really good. Obviously the f1.5 is going to let a little bit more light in, so the ISO is always going to be a little bit lower versus the 12 Pro Max where you know we're at ISO 1600 here. But if we punch in, you know, you're you're not really going to notice much difference here. We can see stars in the sky, which is really cool. But if you look in these window sills and bricks, I don't know, maybe there's slightly more detail, slightly sharper on the 13 Pro. But overall, they're almost exactly the same. Maybe a little bit more detail in this power line thing here. But again, we're just splitting hairs, trying to find reasons to say one's better than the other. And here's another ultra wide shot. This will be the last shot I go over, just comparing these two cameras. This is, 
ISO 3200, ISO 3200, the settings were exactly the same, which is weird because the 12 Pro Max is f2.4 and the iPhone 13 Pro is 1.8. So we're getting the same exposure here, which is interesting, but what we're not getting the same is the detail. So if we punch in here and you look at the 12 Pro Max on the right here, it's not nearly as sharp. There's a lot more noise and mush going on. It's just so much sharper, way more detail, even up into the shadows here on the 13 Pro. The new ultra wide lens is quite a bit better. And I would say that overall, the ultra wide and telephoto lenses are a big improvement on a 13 Pro. One other cool thing they have this year is night portrait mode, which I don't think they had previously. I've seen some reviews and some really nice night portrait modes. What I like is that it still makes it look kind of like it's at night. So I did a test, there was pretty much no light and it looked amazing. I was surprised. It's obviously not going to be the sharpest thing ever, but I was in complete pitch black and like for an image to turn out like this is crazy. Anyway, like I said, this video is going to be short. Hopefully that's all you need to know. I cut right to the chase. Let me know if you're going to upgrade. I don't think there's really a need to upgrade if you have the 12 Pro Max, unless you want, you know, some night portrait mode stuff, some telephoto stuff or some macro stuff. Otherwise, there's no point. But from all the other phones previous to that, it's a big upgrade. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next one for more iPhone content.